dear students in this video i am going to continue types of chemical reaction in the previous video i have explained two types of reaction one was combination other was exothermic and endothermic that is single type heat is released is exothermic heat is absorbed is endothermic now we are going to see decomposition reaction reaction in which a single reactant breaks down to produce two or more simpler products in which we can have the formula ab give rise to a plus b as similar as that that is a plus b give rise to ab is combination and opposite is ab give rise to a plus b is decomposition okay decomposition will not take place without help of any type of energy like it uses heat energy it uses light or uses electricity because decomposition reaction requires energy in any form so that its com compound or reactant can be decomposed easily so we have if decomposition is taking place in presence of heat it is called thermal decomposition examples are given if it is taking place in the presence of light it is called photo decomposition again examples are given these are very important examples these are the examples that are taken from ncert so they are very very important and if it is carried over in the presence of electricity then it is electrolysis of water every reaction we have to balance these are the very very important reactions this is decomposition reaction going forward to the next type of reaction that is called displacement reaction as the name suggests a more reactive element displaces less reactive element from its compound or its solution this takes place on the basis of reactivity series and the major part we have to learn this reactivity series so that we can use displacement reaction how can we learn a trick i have given in this one this video this slide that is please stop calling me a zebra i love her cute mind which is smart and genius which is an and is hidden words please stop calling me a zebra i love her cute mind which is smart and genius every first letter i have taken for potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead hydrogen that is a non metal copper mercury silver and gold and this series is arranged in decreasing order of their reactivity means potassium is the most reactive and gold is the least reactive so potassium will replace any of the metal that is present below potassium and gold is the least metal that we have to do this is not full reactivity series this is the reactivity series that is commonly used continuing to the next slide we'll have next type of reaction that is similar to displacement but what is the difference that is called single displacement reaction this is called double displacement in this reaction mutual exchange of ions takes place if you see the example carefully you will understand easily that in this reaction we have two compounds exchanging their ions mutually sodium is exchanging with chlorine barium is exchanging with sulfate thus this is called double displacement reaction negative charge exchanging with positive charge in this reaction there is no requirement of reactivity series continuing to the next one that is redox reaction as the name suggests it is the combination of oxidation and reduction red stands for reduction ox stands for oxidation the reaction in which reduction as well as oxidation takes place simultaneously this is called redox reaction and almost reaction that is taking place in chemistry is an example of redox reaction there are few exceptions also what is oxidation it involves gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen or it reduction opposite of the same the process in which gain of hydrogen takes place or loss of oxygen oxidation as the name suggests the spelling is there addition of oxygen and if oxygen is removed it is called reduction means something is being reduced oxidation is the addition of oxygen reduction is the removal of oxygen 
and redox is the combination of oxidation as well as reduction both one example i have given right hand side uh, copper oxide plus hydrogen gas arrow heat is there copper plus water here both the reaction is taking place oxidation reduction how can we identify see the black uh, dot uh, line you will see that copper oxide the oxygen is being reduced and it will become copper and hydrogen the oxygen is being added it will become water and water oxidizing and reducing agent the agents are always present in the reactant site remember this is the trick the agents are always present in reactant site oxygen is present that is called oxidizing agent no oxygen is present that is called reducing agent what is oxidizing agent basically the in technical terms the substance which give oxygen to the second substance that is called oxidizing agent reducing agent the substance which has taken oxygen from the first agent that is called reducing agent the agent which reduces or oxidizing agents are the agent which oxidizes the when we have to go somewhere we take tickets from traveling agent so agent traveling agents are the agents we who take our tickets who stand in line to buy our tickets same oxidizing agents are the agents who give their oxygen to someone else so that they can be oxidized and reducing agents are the agents which take oxygen from someone continuing to the next one we have applications of oxidation one is corrosion second is rancid 